Prince Andrew was left tearful after the then Prince Charles told him he will never return to royal duties, it has been claimed. The Duke of York reportedly believes he could still be of value as a working member of the royal family despite the Jeffrey Epstein scandal. But Andrew's comeback hopes were reportedly crushed during a meeting with his brother Charles, who was now king, at his Burkle estate in Scotland in September days before the late Queen's death. Only Charles and his younger brother were said to be present for the discussions, described as emotional and fraught. A source told the Mayo on Sunday, Andrew was totally blindsided. He is utterly bereft. He always believed there was a way back. It comes after reports Andrew held talks about a new royal position with a late queen at Balmoral in August. A source told The Sun at the time, he's hoping the Queen can influence Prince Charles and Prince William, who see no way back for him. The 62-year-old stepped back from public duties in 2019 following his disastrous Newsnight interview over his association with billionaire pedophile Epstein. And he lost his HRH style and military roles earlier this year ahead of paying millions to settle a civil sex assault case brought against him in the US by Epstein accuser Virginia Jufrey. Ms. Jufrey accused Andrew of sexually assaulting her when she was 17. He has always strenuously denied the claims and the settlement was not an admission of guilt on the part of the Duke. Earlier this year, it was reported that Andrew wanted his HRH status back, along with his Colonel of the Grenadier Guards role. A source told The Telegraph, the Colonelcy of the Grenadier Guards was his most coveted title and he wants it back. Having remained a Councillor of State, he also believes he should be included at royal and state events. Most importantly for him is his status as an HRH and Prince of the Blood and he feels that should be reinstated and his position recognized and respected. It came as Charles and Prince William are said to have intervened in June to block Andrew from appearing in public at the Garter Day service at St George's Chapel in the grounds of Windsor Castle, one of the most colourful dates in the royal calendar. A spokesperson for the Duke declined to comment, 